Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I thought I'd do this little video update and let you know, uh, let y'all know what the hell I've been doing. Seems I'm never here in LA, and uh, I'm actually this is my place in LA. I'm home finally. Uh, I just got back again this afternoon, and uh, basically, what I've been doing is uh, this, and um, this is called Gifted. Can you see it? There you go. And this is a script uh, that I've been working on. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of backstory about Gifted right now. Um, I went to go see my sister in Las Vegas for Thanksgiving. And uh, while I was there, a friend of mine invited me to a show that she's in um, that I hadn't seen yet. And I have a bunch of friends that are actually in the show. Um, incidentally, if you're in Vegas, go see Vegas the show. It's really good. It's really, really good. Um, so I went to see the show, and uh, one of the singers, Jamie Preston, um, we've been friends for quite some time now, uh, she's a singer in the show, she's a former Pussycat doll, and um, she's shooting a movie, actually, in Vegas right now, and, and we were talking about the movie and the process and whether she liked it or not, and, um, and she does, she really, really enjoys it. And uh, wants to pursue that, um, and I've been sort of working with Jamie um, and and talking about possibly writing an album with her and all of that. And um, this made me start thinking, you know, what if uh, what if I wrote a soundtrack and a screenplay and uh, based it around music, and she would star in it, and uh, she was all for it, you know, so I wrote the first 20 pages and shot them off to her, and she said she loved it, and to finish it, which, um, I just did, you know, the script's done now, and, uh, so next is the music, and that's sort of why I'm doing these video updates here, uh, every week I'm gonna throw up a new video of, um, you know, some of the music that I'm writing for, it. and, uh, you guys can comment and say whether you like it or you hate it or, or whatever you want, um, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, so, anyway, I'll give you a little bit of a story on, on Gifted. Um, I'm playing Cole Edmonds. Um, Jamie is playing Jordan Taylor. And uh, Cole is a heroin-addicted rock star. Um, Jordan comes to his last show and... Uh, he brings her backstage, and they end up hooking up, and and uh, he really likes this girl. You know, he actually really falls for this girl. And um, her roommate, Tara, who is being played by Stacy Smithton, um, you can see Stacy every week on Telemundo. I think it's Thursdays at 11. Um, Something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But she's on Telemundo every week. Uh, just look for the uh, amazingly beautiful blonde girl. You can't miss her. And if you don't speak Spanish, it really doesn't matter. She's that beautiful. Just You can just stand there and look at her. Um, it's probably worth it. Um, and then Fernando is playing... Um, I'm not even going to try your last name, Fernando, because I'm going to butcher it. I don't want to do that, but it, it's Argentinian, so that's why I'm saying that. Um, uh, he's playing my manager. And uh, anyway, Cole has a real problem with being in the spotlight, and um, which I can relate to. You know, he loves music and he loves doing what he does, but he just hates being thrown into that, that light. And, um, you know, he finds out that Jordan can sing, and she's amazing, and, and he decides that, you know what, I'm just going to write music for her, and that way I can stay in the industry and do what I love to do, but I don't have to be the, the spotlight guy anymore, and, and um, it was really, it's really satisfying for him, so he cleans himself up, and there's a bunch of curveballs that are thrown in the way, and, and um, they bring Tara out on the road with them as Jordan's backup dancer, and, and, uh, Polly is, is Fernando's role. Um, Polly is the manager, and, and Polly, I make Polly sign Jordan. And uh, there's a bunch of shifty things in there, and, and um, you know, 
comparing it would be uh, if you were to take Reliquin for a Dream with Burlesque with Once with Train Spotting with Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, you sort of get gifted and the idea that is behind it. And, um, you know, I, I said to, uh, on a couple of my status updates, you know, I, I'm, I don't want to do things that don't, that doesn't change people or touch people. And, um, I'm hoping this touches somebody, you know, um, I, it's, it brings out a lot of truth and, um, in both industries and, you know, just really be careful what you're going for, you know, and, and what's driving you to go for what you're trying to achieve and make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. And, um, cause it might happen and you might not like it. Um, so anyway, that's gifted. Um, really compelling story. Uh, horrendous tragic ending. Um, not Hollywood at all. And uh, anyway, we're going to be shooting for 20 consecutive days up in Las Vegas. And uh, then I'm going to go FO up to Canada for a few weeks and teach. And um, so... Yeah, I won't be, <laughs> I won't be here really at all for a long time, but, uh, I guess I'll, this is my $1,100 storage unit, alright, so, uh, that's gifted, keep checking back for the videos, feel free to comment, um, I'd love to hear your feedback, and, uh, tell your friends, I hope you like it, and more importantly, I hope you get something out of it, alright.